We are going to walk through the custom address source setup. Before you start, make sure the application is installed and you have created the shipping preferences. I'm going to create a lookup relationship. Go to Setup, Object Manager, and look for the Zencraft shipment. From the Zencraft shipment object, create a new lookup relationship. Select your object. This can be any standard or custom Salesforce object. In this example, I'm going to use the order object. Name your lookup relationship. You can also set the visibility. Add it to the layout. And create the related list item. Now I'm going to create the custom address source. Go to the custom address sources object and click new. Name your custom address source. I'm going to use the same name as the object. Select your lookup relationship. Usually the sender address comes from the shipping address in the shipping preferences. But you can override it from here. You can share the recipient address details in this section. You can add the account name or any name information. For the company name, you can choose a company, or if you're shipping to private persons, you can also add the same name. Add the street information. Country. Contact details such as the email. The rest of the address information. Scroll down to the Packages section. You can either select your own package record or just fill these details in. I'm going to set some default values that we can use for testing later on. You always need to set your quantity. Put some sort of weight. And declared value. If you're not using insurance, you can set a default value of zero. Now we have to add the preference name information. So in this case, if you're using one shipping carrier account, you can just use a static value. So I'm going to copy the preference information from here. And set it as a static value. Alternatively, you can also put a field information here, such as a formula field or a pick list. So for example, I can put this field, which is a formula field, that selects the preference information based on a carrier pick list. Then we go down to the packaging type. Again, you can use the static value such as your underscore packaging. You can also set up a similar formula or pick list field and map it here. For the service type, again, you can either use a static value. So in this case, that would be FedEx underscore ground for a domestic shipment. Or you can also set a formula field or a pick list such as this, which in my case is a pick list for the different service types. In these specific carrier fields, you can add special services and reference information. So for example, I can put FedEx Signature Delivery Option. 
And if I want an indirect signature for my delivery, I just have to put the value here. If you want the labels to print automatically, you can also check this Auto Print checkbox. Please make sure that whenever you make any changes to the custom address source to go and save at the top, as there is no autosave option. So if you go to our documentation at zencraft.com slash docs, go to the custom address source guide. We provide downloadable custom address source templates.